Previously on Preps. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. It's the second round of the city playoffs, and two of Chi Town's best are going head to head. Will Bynum, Sean Dock. The first half left the floor on fire. But the best is yet to come. Play some goddamn defense! Some damn defense! That's bullshit! You take Doc for me. I need a challenge, Street. Okay, you gonna get it, come second half. I'm the king of the black top, cooping half court shots. I come correct, the stats are whack compared to points that I drop. I play to win and I'm playing for keeps. I'm keeping my game tight and fulfilling my hoop dreams. Real kids. I'm Eddie Curry, senior, Hornwood High. Real dreams. I'm Kyle Kleckner, senior, Downer Grove North High School. Real life. I'm Sean Dockery, Junior, Julian High. These are the real stories of preps, Chicago Hoops. When we last left Coach Longstreet, he just finished the first half. Now he's got to settle down his boys. Fellas, I said it before the game, and I'm saying it again. If we play defense, win the pavilion side of the street. Let's get that 22 half on. Let the guy come set the pick. You can give him a fake like you go on baseline. If you give him that fake baseline, I guarantee you he's going to guard you. And if he doesn't, you go baseline and dunk on the motherfucker. Julian versus Crane. It's time for the second half. Sean and the boys gave it their all in the first. But Will dropped 20. Just too much for Julian to handle. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go. Family. One, two, three. Family. Julian comes out with a mess. They for real. And with it, they tie the game. But Crane ain't gonna get his thing away. Julian got their work cut out. What about the foul? What about a foul? What about a foul? They foul and they pushing it. He ain't falling by himself. Shot for three. And Julian takes the lead. Crane's out of it. Passing to Longstreet. Longstreet don't want the ball. Now the momentum shifting. Things starting to go Julian's way. Listen to me. Look at me. Y'all the best motherfucker. Team in this gym. Y'all the best team in this gym. Family, one, two, three. Family. And listen, man, we gotta do a better job in stopping penetration. You can't let the guy go to the bucket like that. Sean feeds the rock, and Julian's up. Twain for three, and it's good. They push him back. Yes, that is. That's over the back, chicken. You can't go. No, no. You can't go over man's back. Damn, this is live. Julian's still in the lead. But Crane answers with the monster dunk. Close call. Could have gone either way. Will ain't too thrilled with that. Take your time on offense. Right. We're in no hurry. Take your time on offense. We're in no hurry. All right? Tell you what. Three rebounds. Let's go. Oh, three stops. Three stops. Everything you got. Yeah. All right, we got time out. 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 We got time out. Yeah. Yeah. Family. Yeah. family, one, two, three. Yeah. 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 Get the yeah. ball away. Now, stop getting frustrated and play ball. That bull you got help. You got to trust him. Now, listen. This game ain't over with. Y'all give it up. Over with. If I tell you to get Sean Dockery, get him. You gotta stick the you thinking. Daddy G just scored, you didn't got him. So play ball. They messing up, you messing up. Let's go. That time? That's it for Anton. 
he fouls out with the healthy amount of time left for regulation. Julian just lost one of their best players, and Anton knows he did one. All right, let's go. make Julian's job real tough. No good. One for two. See if we can keep the ball out of our uh, head. Whoever's got the guy on the ball, double Dockery until he goes back here. You gotta step back to him, okay? We don't want Doc with the ball, y'all understand that. Let's make somebody else beat him. If we get the rebound and we're in trouble, call time out right away. Y'all got it? It's 71-68 with just seconds left. Julian's gonna need a mirror. Just a second left. Here's Crane's last chance. This thing's going into overtime. Coming up, one of the greatest high school basketball games ever continues. And Will Bynum goes down. Time in the playoffs. The winner is off to the final four for a chance to play for the city championship. Well, don't let Sean get the ball. They can't do anything unless he has the ball. Sean's got the ball and 45 points win. Will look like a big man. Say that. It's good, and Crane's got the lead. Julian can't find their shot. Time out, time out. We spread to the basket. To the basket. If you got it and you clean and you get it, let it ride. Right, Julian's go. got six seconds to save their season. One, two, three. Last chance. All down to a single shot. Everyone looking for Sean. But Larry Booth finds an open lane. But did he get it off the time? Yes. The clock's out. We're going into the second of the They counted the basket. They counted the basket. Let's go. Sit down. Sit down. Overtime. Overtime. Let's go. Let's go. Listen to me. Do you believe it? Yeah. Do you believe it? Yeah. Let's go. Come on, we in OT number two, and things is getting sloppy. Got fouled. He clearly got fouled. If man don't call it, somebody got to call it. Still though, man, hell, if you see it, man, somebody got to call it. That's a foul. Mm, John makes some pain. Still got a little gas left. If we don't get it, we foul. If we don't get it after the first pass, we foul. Take the charge. Once again, Julius backs up against the wall. 12 seconds left. One more shot. You guys are Wayne's got three seconds. Will for the win. No good. 
into it again. Right now, right now, we must defend. We must defend. Sean Dock, all night. Sean D got 50 points. Oh no. Come on, Mount, 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 come out, come out, Mount, come out, Mount. in a bad way. They can't find it. And Will comes up with the rock. Will Bynum's the man Quain wants up there. He's never missed these. Coach, you my man. They do have this shit I tell them, man. Yeah, we be all right. not do anything stupid. Now, we have a five-point lead, and unless you have an open layup, do not do anything crazy. Huh? It's a four-point lead. Four-point lead, okay, still, they got a foul. See it. This is feel. This is just a great feeling, man. Come on, get up. Come on. Come on. Look at me. It hurts, but I'm so proud of you kids. I don't know what to do, cause you never, ever quit on each other. You never, ever quit on each other. A couple things didn't go our way. You never gave up though. Couldn't be prouder of a group. You never gave up. You never gave up. It hurts. It hurts like a son of a to me too in the, in the middle of my stomach. But you never gave up. I am so proud of you. You showed a lot of character. You showed a lot of guts. To you seniors, I love you to death. I appreciate every moment you've given me in this journey. I appreciate every moment that you have given me in this journey because it's been a great one. 
to you juniors and you underclassmen. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. I appreciate every one of you. I appreciate every one of you. I love you to death. I love every one of you to death. You walk out of here, you hold your head up because you represented Julian High School the best I've seen. Family, one, two, three. Oh. A moment that I ain't gonna never forget when they were celebrating in the middle of the court. And, and we walking off. That's my last time walking off with my team. That's the only moment I got. Well, after we lost the, uh, the, the game against Crane, right after we lost, first I went to uh, McDonald's with my Uncle Kevin and my little Mike, Tony. This got Leon, got Leon, Deshaun, all of us, we went over here. And then after we left from there, it just all kicked in again. I got a couple of calls, people was telling me how good I did. But I just went over here, you know, I like training, so I just went over here and just, just thought about my team. Grab some rocks, whatever. Like, grab a couple of rocks. <laughs> but I like throwing the, throwing the rocks, you know what I'm saying? Throwing the rocks that just, just made me think. So I'm throwing the rocks, thinking about my players and how much I love them and everything. It's like, I was just feeling it. Right here, it was pitch black. I know people probably was driving past thinking I'm crazy, but I was just thinking about everybody. I ain't gonna play with Anton no more. I ain't gonna play with Martise, Larry, Mike, or Big Jason. It's like, I ain't never felt that way about, about nobody like that, not another team like that ever in my life. It's like, I love them so much, man. It's, it's nothing more I can say, man. That's like, do some brothers in me and they feel like I lost them yesterday. But Coach Jason told me it's a, they still in my life and we family forever. But that's all I was thinking about them. I wasn't even thinking about the loss, really. I was thinking about them. His best friend, Lil Mike, couldn't even get up today. The loss hit him full scale. This is Mike's job, for sure. You know, he's in the house now. He's probably looking at me out the window, seeing how much I've accomplished today so he won't have to do this much tomorrow. <laughs> But it's okay, he's pretty sore and banged up and whatnot. I took a day off, man, and let all the uh, drilling come down because, man, that was a rough game, man. I was exhausted, three overtimes, packed, flow was sweating. Everybody was sweating. I was drenched after the game. And, man, it was just a big, big game. And Crane, I gave y'all a lot of respect, man, a lot of love, man. I hope y'all do it all, but... It was a battery yesterday. I guess he's recovered now. Look at him. You don't have your work clothes off, son. I ain't supposed to have on no work clothes. <laughs> Martis ended up in the hospital. Turned out to be his appendix. You have a good excuse. They snatched my appendix out. Listen, oh my. Adam, now what is that? <laughs> what is that man? What is that, what is that supposed to do for me? They done gave me two noodles and a chicken foot. <laughs> I can't believe it. Can't, no one can still tell me that I yell. It's like spring break or something. I can't believe I yell. And we didn't win. It's hard, it's still hard for me to swallow that. 
I still can't believe it. By now, I would have pretty much got over it, but I guess it's the, my senior year, so it hit me a little harder. I know all of them go succeed, though, in life, because it's like Coach Jackson taught us so much stuff. There ain't nothing else we could go through. We, we already we, we went through life at Julian. We've been through life. That's life right there, basketball, man. That's life. We've been through life. Ups, downs. We've been through, you know what I'm saying, family thick and thin. We took, went through everything. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I like about trains. It's just, I, I, I think it's all my life we live behind the train. And when I was little, well, uh, my next one neighbor used to have a little train set by his window. He used to go around and around. I used to love that. I used to want to train all the time. I was like, like the trains and stuff, man. I don't know why I like them so much. Just looking on the people and see it. I think, just thinking where they going, just like planes. I just think about where they going. Yeah. They going one now. Like I'm finna break down or something, man. This is what I did, though. I must have looked at about, I ain't gonna lie, about 13 trains going back and forth before we lost. Coming up on preps, Eddie Curry goes down, and he could take his team with him. It takes six teammates with heavy hearts to lift their 300-pound superstar. It scared me when Eddie hit the ground, because when Eddie goes, it means that the rest of the team really has to step up. It was just un unbearable, so I had to get my ankle iced and I can't really walk on it now. On the next press. I'm the I must have cried yesterday. I'm the man I can say it on TV. I must have cried about yesterday at least about, about 25 times. Seriously. Couldn't go to sleep with nothing. But it's like my father say, real players cry when they lose. You know what I'm saying? That's just being competitive. I cried. My team don't sleep.